I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber and I hope its solution will help you also. The question here is, a clock is hanging on a wall with the center of the clock 3 meters above the floor. Both the minute hand and the second hand are 15 centimeter long. The hour hand is 8 centimeter long. For each hand, determine the equation of the cosine function that describes the distance of the tip of the hand above the floor as the function of time. Assume that the time t is in minutes and that distance d of t is in centimeters. Also assume that t equals to 0 at midnight. So let's sketch the scenario. So we have a clock here and let's say that's the ground. What we are given here is that the clock center is 3 meters. Since we are talking about centimeters, I will write here 300 centimeters. So that is the axis. So that becomes the axis for us. Correct? So when we are modeled with cosine wave, this becomes the axis. Okay. <clears throat> we are assuming that time starts at 0 with 12. We are given the length of the hands as 15 centimeter for minutes, 15 centimeters for seconds and 8 hours, 8 centimeters for the hours. So let's consider first the minutes hand, right? So that's the minutes hand. At 12, it will be right there. Now to write any cosine function in this situation, what we need to know is that the cosine function could be written as uh, for the distance d. So distance d is from the ground to the tip, right? So for the distance d to the tip, since we are starting from a maximum, the phase shift is zero. So we'll start with amplitude a cos of k. Phase shift is zero, so k times t plus how high the center is, which is 300. So that, in general, becomes the equation for all the three cases. When you consider the minute hand, then, as you can see here, as the clock, as the time ticks, it moves from this position and kind of goes like this. The maximum value from the ground, if I see it from the ground, will be what? The center is at 300, right? So this is 300. For the minute hand, which is 15 centimeters long, this will be 315. And then that will be 300 minus 15, that is 285, correct? The amplitude is going to be length of the, the minute hand, right? So for the minute hand, let's calculate for the minute hand, what is the value of k and what is amplitude a? So let's, let's do it here. So when we're talking about the minute and we know amplitude is length of the needle, which is 15 centimeters, correct? And time taken for one full circle will be how many minutes? 60 minutes, correct? So t is 60 minutes. k value will be one full circle is 360 divided by 60, correct? So that becomes the k value, which is 6. So for the minute hand, we can write this equation for minute hand will be A is 15 cos of 6 T plus 300. Is it okay? Now let's do the same calculation for the seconds. For the seconds, amplitude still is 15 centimeters however the time taken will be very small correct 
a seconds we'll do one full circle in how many minutes in just one minute right it does one full circle in 60 seconds which is one minute so in this case k value will be equal to what k will be 360 by 60 since we are doing time in minutes i mean sorry 360 by one minute which is 360 correct so the equation for the seconds hand will be same amplitude however it goes much faster right so so it will be 360 t plus 300 correct since it makes one full circle in one minute now how about an hour hand so for the hours, it is eight centimeters. So, so for our hand, we can write this amplitude as eight cos of what is the value of K for completing one full cycle. It takes 12 hours right it takes 12 hours so that is the time period 12 hours is how many minutes so in every hour we have 60 minutes so just 12 times i mean 12 times 60 so that becomes the time in minutes and that gives you the k value as 360 divided by 12 times 60 do you see that <coughs> so we could simplify this too. So k is half for us. And therefore, for the hour hand, the equation will be half t plus 300. Do you see that? So that is how you can get all the three equations. 1, 2, and 3. I hope the concept is very clear. So basically, the amplitude is equal to length of the hand and K is 360 divided by time it takes in minutes for one full circle. So that should help you to find the answer. And since the center is 300 centimeters above the ground, so that gives you the height or the distance of the tip of the hand from the ground. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to share your comments, share my videos and if you like that would be great. Thank you and all the best.